let's talk about evaluating algebraic expressions. So uh, if you've watched my order of operations video, this is going to be too far of a stretch from that, just one extra bit. So uh, here, given the function, parentheses x plus y squared minus x times y, with x equals 2 and y equals 4. So I'm telling you that x is 2 and y is 4, and we have this algebraic expression with x's and y's in it. And I'm wanting you to evaluate this algebraic expression. So what we should do is, if we know this information, we should plug it in. So we're going to replace all x's with a 2. And anytime we see a y, we're going to replace that with a 4. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'd have rewriting. I'm going to rewrite this equation. Anytime I see an x, let's put a 2. Anytime I see a y, let's put a 4. So I'm going to have parentheses. Instead of x, let's put a 2. Plus y. Well, y we said was 4. Parentheses squared minus x, which we said was 2. Multiplication. y we said was 4. So all I did was I just plugged my x, y's in. Say we had more variables, x, y, z, whatever. Just plug them all in for all of their different variables. Next, all this does is turn into an order of operations problem, which I already, I've talked about this in a previous video. So just follow through with the order of operations. So parentheses first, so I see two plus four, which is six. Still haven't touched the square, the minus, the two, the multiplication, or the four. Uh, now moving on, I would look at the next order would be the exponents here. So 6 squared, which is 36. Didn't touch the minus, the 2, the multiplication, or the 4. Uh, after that, multiplication division. So I have 2 times 4, which is 8. Didn't touch the 36 or the minus. And then finally, I'm left with 36 minus 8, which is 28. So not a whole lot additional, you know, here. Just anytime you're evaluating an algebraic expression, you're just going to plug in, replace all of your variables. Um, they will tell you, hey, x is this, y is this, z, whatever, w. Um, just replace all your variables, and then it turns into just an order of operation problem. And that was evaluating algebraic expressions.